Well, they are due to start school next week and they are cracking down on drugs. The Northeast Independent School District has new technology that could result in expulsion for students caught vaping. Last school year, more than 400 students were caught vaping on school campuses or at some other school activity. The new technology can test for marijuana. The night team's Jaffney Gray tells us why and how the district plans to crack down on what they call a vaping epidemic. Now what we're seeing is students taking oils and um, vaping different types of chemicals. It has been an activity that has worked its way into school districts all over the nation. Vaping. Both Northside ISD and San Antonio ISD say they've had a handful of students caught vaping. But over in Northeast ISD, between 400 and 500 students were caught during the 2017-2018 school year. We know that they're doing it. We know that it's a problem. It is against state law for anyone under 21 to buy tobacco products. The the Texas Education Code also prohibits vaping from being at school campuses or school-related activities. But NEISD wants to do more to enforce it this year, especially when it comes down to illegal substances. We now have the technology to determine whether that THC is present. We haven't had that before. If we find a vape, a cartridge, any type of oils that you're using to vape, they will be tested right there on site. If the substance tests positive for THC, you can be expelled. If is negative, you can face other disciplinary actions like suspension. But the school district wants to remind students vaping has other consequences. I don't think they realize the serious health consequences. One example is playing out right now nationwide after at least 50 people in at least six states have been treated for breathing problems that could be linked to vaping. Symptoms include shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, and vomiting. Doctors say these symptoms are results of what you're inhaling. In some cases, it can lead to severe lung damage. The school district released this letter for parents and students hoping to both raise awareness and to stop the problem before the school year begins. We're not going to have it on our campuses. Now, I did speak with other school districts in the city, and they, too, have a strict no vaping policy for their schools. Some of them telling me that they have police departments on their campuses with the proper equipment ready to test for any illegal substances such as THC that could possibly lead to expulsion. Tim?